lectures and farm machinery. Well, the previous lecture was also on uh, problems. Uh, we have selected uh, certain problems particularly to let you know about all the gamuts of uh, design and selection of uh, spraying equipment. Uh, what, what are the different details which are required if you want to design a, a equipment or to create a select equipment from a galaxy of equipments and so on and so forth. Uh, let us uh, see a problem, uh, first problem. In fact, this is a problem which was uh, which is in continuation of the previous lecture where we had uh, we had done five, four problems and that is why this number has been given problem number 5. Well, uh, for this it is very interesting. See, we uh, discussed about the uh, particle size, we discussed about the droplet size, we discussed about the distribution of that and then what are the different classes in which the particle size is uh, situated uh, when we spray the chemicals at varying um, sprayer uh, um, uh, pressures as well as uh, rate, flow rate. Now, here droplet side data given table 1, this is table 1 here. So, in this table we had given data, determine the various mean droplet diameters. Now, what is given in the table here? Uh, class size mean microns that means 19 to 46, 46 to 72, 72 to 79, 99 to 125, 125 to 152 like this 284 to 310, then 389 to 415. This is the micron size. Uh, okay. The number of droplets in these each class size uh, that has been this is in fact uh, a case uh, where the droplets um, have been measured in a study and the details are given over here for you to understand and try to um, classify and understand what sort um, what is the level of uh, deposition, what is the size of the droplets which are deposit, uh, deposited on the um, canopy or on the um, target. So, these are the number of drop, um, droplets in each class say in this 19 to 46 there are 69, similarly say 178 to 204 there are 150. Uh, all these details are given so, 284 to 310 uh, 13, um, 336 to 63 5 and 289, 389 to 415 1. Now, as you, you can see that as the uh, class size or the range of microns of the droplets uh, uh, increases the number of droplets in that uh, is decreasing. Uh, sure, it will happen. So, now how do we um, find out the various uh, diameters of these droplets? Well, uh, you may recall the, the equation which I gave you earlier, the earlier expression, wherein we have dpq uh, mean dpq p minus q this parameter, which will give us the various uh, diameters which we had discussed. We'll discuss them again here. Now, it is given as summation of n i d i, which is nothing but n i is the number of droplets in the i size class and d i is the droplet diameter for the that class. So, this d i is the diameter uh, and uh, the diameter here and the number of the droplets. So, the number of droplets are uh, given over here and the class range is given over here. Similarly, n i d i uh, to the power q here, where q p and q are 1, 2, 3, 4 or p greater than q. This is very important to note in this particular expression 1 by p minus q here. So, using this particular um, uh, equation, uh, you will be in a position to find out the mean di um, droplet diameters of various types which we have uh, discussed earlier. Now, let us uh, see what, how do you take up this. Now, what are the mean diameters um, uh, from the uh, table? What are the different ones? Well, you, you, you know it that uh, the arithmetic mean where p is 1, q is 0 that is d 1 0. Similarly, surface mean it is where uh, p is 2, q is 0 that is p d 2 0. Uh, this talks of this here. Then volume mean d 3 0 where p is 3, q is 0. Similarly, shorter mean d where 3 is the um, p and 2 is your q. Now, how do we get this? We need to make, uh, need, we need to have the summations of these. So, what, what is done is this is the size diameter class range which is which is already given to you. Uh, now, midpoint of this diameter. So, the midpoint of this has to be found out 
and then approximate value mid time uh, mid uh, mid value is 32 for this uh, 59 for this similarly 112 for this similarly 100 217 for this and so on this has been found out then the number in each size class well this number which is which was given in the uh, table already so we have to simply take that value which is already given here then what we get n uh, n n i d i that means individual this is n i this is d i so n i d i will be this value in microns similarly for this it will be this now summation is this value this is the summation that we are talking with respect to this similarly when we are talking of uh, uh, p2 when the value will be p2 because when we will talk of surface mean so p2 that means p2 will be that means we will talk of diameter square here so then n d n remaining same here the d2 will be simply we can get these values because you can see here so we'll get these values and this is the summation here when we are talking of d2 where p is equal to 2 therefore when p is equal to 3 in this case here then where we will talk a volume mean we will get this value because n remaining same n i d i then uh, p will be 3 here so we get these values these values just multiplication of this so it, if you get then the total uh, is given over here therefore once these are known it is very easy to put in this uh, expression and get the values so if you take those values here you can get the arithmetic mean now how do you get the arithmetic mean you know that p is equal to 1 q is equal to 0 so the values were, uh, were already given to you here n n n d n i d i where p is equal to 1 so this value is there use this value and you get here this is the value which you get for d 1 0 mean so similarly here in fact this will be mean we are not dot because we have already talked of this so this will be mean this is mean so this is the value which you get for the arithmetic mean so arithmetic mean you can measure uh, we can calculate like this the next is surface mean where d t20 that means p is 2 and q is 0 so using that p and 2 the equation which is here this is the value which we have got and n d n d 0 is here so that means this is equal to 1 so automatically you get this value this is the value which you get and uh, this is the value which you get and this is the actual value of d 3 0 so similarly when you want to get the the other one shorter mean now shorter mean we know that p is equal to 3 q is equal to 2 uh, 2 therefore then immediately you can get this value here and uh, this is this so these two are already given to you you can put these values here and uh, p minus q is 1 here so just divide by this which is the value which you, which you get here as equal to this so this is how you can get this all the different diameters so if we talk of then all the, mm, the diameters which we are talking of the droplets in that particular uh, uh, data which was given to us we have got arithmetic mean surface mean arithmetic mean is d10 surface mean is d20 then volume mean is d30 and sorter mean is d32 and these values are known so this gives you a methodology by which you can classify you can uh, know what are the different uh, diameters of the droplets which have been deposited at uh, various locations in that uh, canopy or at the target wherever the case may be. Let us take another problem. 
Now, uh, you must rec recall that as I said that uh, that was the problem number 5. Uh, so, this is num problem number 6 in the series of what we have done because the last lecture we had talked of 4 problems and this is the 6th uh, problem in that series. So, this um, problem indicates that application rate of an insecticide to paddy crop is 1.1 kg per hectare. This is what we call as uh, active ingredients and 0.9 kg of this insecticide has to be mixed with 90 liters of water. This is the requirement of um, the, the crop for the ins insecticide because insects have uh, infected the, the crop. The sprayer equipped with nozzle has rated delivery of 0.5 liter per minute. That means, the nozzles deliver 0.5 liter per minute and a pressure of 2.7 kg per cm. If the nozzles are 50 centimeter apart, find the forward speed of sprayer for pressure setting of 2.1 kg per centimeter square. So, what we get here is n with the number of nozzles on the sprayer S 2 7 with the speed of travel at a pressure of this, then S 2 1 talks of the speed of travel at a pressure of this. So, 0 0.9 kg of this insecticide has to be mixed with 90 liters. So, how do you get 1 kg of insecticides to be mixed with this much k liter per kg? So, 1.1 will give you this much liters and then therefore, the application rate uh, required is 110 liter per hectare. Now, if this is the uh, one which is required total width of spray is given as n into spacing between the nozzles. So, the total spray w is given as n into spacing between the nozzles. So, we will know the total width So, field uh, capacity of the um, sprayer then, what will be the field capacity? Width we know and then speed. So, um, uh, um, that means uh, width and speed by 10. This is the standard formula which you must have uh, um, come to know W s by 10. So, we are talking of the kilometer per hour as the speed and width in meter by 10. It gives you the field capacity in hectare per hour. So, this is the same formula which has been used here. So, s talks of the uh, speed at 2.7 uh, 2.7 kil uh, kg per centimeter square pressure and uh, yes so the total capacity of this pure q and be total nozzle flow rate into number of nozzles yes number of nozzles we don't know the number of nozzles so we have put an n number of nozzles so what we get from here is qt is equal 0.5 into this here then the time required for 1 hectare land see what will be the time required for 1 hectare of land if you know a particular speed. So, if you know this that this is the one which is uh, to be sprayed and this is the uh, rate at which it has to be sprayed, we will know how much is the time taken. Similarly, time required to cover 1 hectare T 2 when uh, you are talking with respect to uh, another uh, the next time the time required to cover 1 hectare land, the time required to spray and time required to cover 1 hectare of land. This is 10 by 0 0.6 into 9 this this value. Now, when we are talking with respect to this that means, we are talking that the time required for a spray of 1 hectare and the time required to cover 1 hectare of land the these two must be same these two must be same. So, if you uh, equate them what you get is you will be in a position to get uh, because there are n here and here. So, you get S 2 7 that means, you will get the speed at uh, 2.7 kg per centimeter square which you have got over here. This is how you uh, you can get the uh, operation mm, uh, the speed of operation of this prayer. We know that now Q. We, you have seen in the previous uh, problem which we discussed and this theory as well that that this Q is proportional to under root P, P where P is the pressure. So, we use this equation straight away and what has been given is S 2.7 uh, S 2.1 is at this pressure and this pressure these are the two speeds. So, we can directly use this and get q 2 from here. So, if you have got q 2 the travel speed 2 s 1 
mean discharge uh, when discharge rate is this much can be just calculated from this equation here because they are directly proportional here in this case uh, no inversely proportional in this case here. So, you can get these values and you can get S 2.1 at 4.2 kilometer per hour. So, you have got the bo both the values one you have got earlier uh, at the at 2 kg 2.7 kg per centimeter square and at 2.1 kg per centimeter square is this value. So, this is what was asked uh, of you uh, while we wanted to know with the details which were given to that to you through the problem. Another problem now this problem is uh, uh, slightly different from where um, we have done with the other two problems. In one case we, we discussed about the uh, the diameters of the various sizes of the particles when they are there in different class ranges. Then we discussed about uh, if the uh, speed variation is there at varying pressure how do, um, uh, knowing the other details how will you find out the speeds at which they should be operated. So, that you get certain amount of uh, volume per uh, liter which is required for the system. Now, problem 7. So, calculate the suction capacity of a power sprayer what is the suction capacity for if the diameter of the plunger is 20 millimeter and the speed is 1000 revolutions per minute length of stroke is 21 millimeter and the number of plungers is 3 there are about 3 number of plungers. Okay. Calculate the shaft power in kilowatt when the pressure is 30 kg per centimeter square suction volume is this much liter per minute and the pump efficiency is 65 percent. See what length of boom is needed on a sprayer operating at 8 kilometer per hour to permit spraying a 32 hectare field in 8 hour, eight working hours. The time lost uh, in filling the tank and in turning is 30 percent. Now, th this is there are 3 different uh, 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 things which are asked to you. So, you need to uh, think and then try to um, attempt these questions, uh, um, because this requires a complete knowledge of what you have been taught uh, so far. So, what is given here is the diameter of the plunger pump is 20 milli given, rpm of the pump is given, length of stroke is also given, number of plungers are also given. So, the suction capacity of the spare is what area into the speed. So, area into the speed will give you the volume that is the uh, suction capacity how much it will suck, how much of volume of liquid it will suck is straight away. Uh, you have to pi d square by 4 is the area and speed is uh, you can get from here, because you will know the uh, um, rpm here, the rpm is given to you, and the stroke length is given to you and the number of plungers are given. So, from each of the plungers and uh, at that rpm what is the amount which is coming. So, you can directly multiply and you get this suction capacity. Second one, calculate the shaft power in kilowatt when the pressure is 30 kg per centimeter. Suction volume is this and the pump efficiency is this much. Now, you see pump efficiency, what is pump efficiency? Pump output by pump input, fine. So, if you so if you think of this pump efficiency power output by power input. Now, this is efficiency Q into P by shaft power here. So, using this the, because the shaft power is already in, in kilowatt we need to get what is the shaft power, shaft power and the pressure is this. So, this pressure is given to you uh, this is the volume which is given to you. So, use this and we know that the efficiency which is also given. So, the shaft power will be immediately calculated it is simply putting this, but then you have to understand what exactly they are trying to ask in this. Okay. Third what length of boom total boom because that uh, talks of the total area to be covered. So, uh, how much what will be the rate at which it will cover what is the speed at which it should operate and all that. So, with that regard they are asking length of boom is needed for a sprayer operating at 8 kilometers per hour and to permit spraying at a 32 hectare field in 8 working hours. So, 8 hours you have to work and uh, 32 hectare has to be covered. So, you have to find out what is the boom length and then turning losses is, mm, could be taken as maximum of 30 percent. So, it is very simple now you see the time in uh, filling and turning etcetera that is time lost 30 percent. Field efficiency how do you get field efficiency we are talking of field efficiencies that uh, the 
uh, when we talk of field efficiency, we say what is the field actual uh, field capacity by um, theoretical field capacity. So, using this, what you get here, that means the um, 100 by 130, because this is assuming that 100 was the um, total power and 130 is loss. So, you can get this is the field efficiency. Once you get the field efficiency, then you go back to because this is the area to be covered, this is the time which is given to you. So, so the theoretical field capacity will be we do not know what is the width. So, width w into 8 by 10 that is uh, the field capacity this is how we do w s by 10. So, uh, s is the width which we are talking width we have to find out and uh, 8 kilometers per hour. So, then what we get is 0 0.8 here. Okay. So, field efficiency is the actual field capacity by theoretical field capacity. You have got this uh, already here. So, actual field capacity you can get if you know this uh, theoretical field capacity. So, then from there you are in a position to get what is the actual field capacity. So, once you have got the actual field capacity is this. So, with a um, width of w. Now, this has the um, width here and what you have to do? We have to do 32 hectares in 8 hours. So, that means, 4 hectare per hour you have to do. So, this 4 hectare per hour is the actual field capacity which will be there and from your equation you have got that 0 0.615 w is the one which is actual field capacity. So, just equate these two and then you get length of the wing by 6.5 meters. Now, when you get 6.5 meters this is the value which is given actually out of the uh, of you could say computations, but then you have to think when you are settling those number of nozzles and all the details, you need to do some sort of uh, fine tuning and adjustment as a designer to see that you really um, complete this area in the particular time which is given to you. So, um, although theoretically this 6.5 is the value, but then practically if you, you come across a case, then you might have to adjust some little bit here, maybe 6.5. Uh, 8 or um, uh, 7 meters or something like that, but then this has to be the minimum value you, which you should take. So, if we talk of all the three items which were given to you, the suction capacity of power of the power spare was 19.79 liter per minute, the input shaft power is 1.99 kilowatt and length of the boom W is 6.5. So, this is uh, this was which, which was asked to um, uh, you and this is how you have got. So, what we have talked of let us say so far we have talked of uh, these details. Now, another problem which, uh, which also takes uh, uh, makes you to think uh, regarding the type of the nozzle which have been you say a hydraulic sprayer fitted with hollow cone nozzle you you know what is a hollow cone nozzle is required to be calibrated for an application rate of 150 liters per hectare now this calibration we have talked of the calibration of nozzles etc so this uh, from there a problem has been picked up the sprayer speed is 6.5 kilometer per hour and the nozzle spacing is 50 centimeter the available um, uh, orifice size is 0 0.787 millimeter. So, available orifice size is this. So, the, the diameter nozzle okay. and uh, at a rated, uh, at a rated uh, volume of the available 0 0.787 millimeter orifice diameter nozzle is rated at 0 0.73 liter per minute. That means, the nozzle is giving this much of uh, liter per minute at uh, 275 kilo Pascal per pressure. So, at this pressure, now what you need to calculate the nozzle flow rate. So, what will be the nozzle flow rate? The pressure required to produce the desired uh, nozzle flow rate, then the droplet side at the desired flow rate if the nozzle produces VMD of 200 micrometers at 1000 kPa. It is a very good problem. Now, you see uh, whole aspects of your knowledge is uh, being tested here. You have a particular type of nozzle, you have certain pressure at a certain pressure that the nozzle is giving certain discharge and then we want you to find out what should be the flow rate etcetera at the required uh, uh, pressure and uh, the required size of the um, particle. So, if you use this what is given to you is uh, the application rate is given say uh, 150 liter uh, per hectare speed of the sprayer is given 
the nozzle spacing is also given, nozzle flow rate is given, nozzle pressure is given, orifice diameter D 1 is given and V m D 1 is given. Now, these are the things which are given. Always when you attempt a problem, please remember out of the uh, statement of the problem, you must uh, write what is uh, given and then think of what are the uh, aspects of uh, problem uh, um, uh, equations and formulae that you have been taught and try to um, recall them and put them together. Then only you can you will be able to uh, follow a proper sequence for solving these problems. So, nozzle flow rate. Now, nozzle flow rate very simple you use application rate is known to you and then uh, the nozzle spacing is known to you and uh, sprayer speed is known V is the speed here. So, directly if you know the speed, if you know the spacing uh, of the nozzle you can get this simply multiplication of this and the 600 talks of the this 600 talks of for the unit conversion. So, the value of Q and nozzle flow rate is this you have got it. Now, the pressure required to produce the desired nozzle flow rate, what is the pressure? We had talked of a similar thing in the previous uh, problem. So, here Q 2 by Q 1 is under root P 2 by P 1. So, Q 2 and Q 1 is given to you, P 2 um, is given, P 1 is required. Okay. So, there just use this uh, um, uh, here and you will be in a position to get the pressure required to produce the desired nozzle flow rate. Okay. So, um, the, using this you, you are in a position to get these uh, uh, pressure um, uh, at the desired nozzle flow rate. The droplet side at the desired flow rate if the nozzle produces so much VMD of 200 micrometer at 1000 kPa. Well, uh, here again same um, uh, expression which was um, shown to you earlier with respect to the um, uh, diameters, um, the sizes of those particles. So, D 2 by D 1 is under root P 1 by P 2 inverse and so um, if you know D 2, uh, D 1 is uh, if you want to know D 2, D 1 is given to you here and you have got the value of P 1, P 2 from there. So, once you put this you will be in a position to get the value of D 2 here that this is the droplet size at desired flow rate when a BMD of this is there because this is the one which you is talking of one size of the um, particle. So, the, um, the three things which were asked to you have been properly all uh, put here that means nozzle flow rate is 0.812 liter pressure required to produce is this much and then droplet size is 222.7 micrometer. Now, the, through these uh, four problems uh, what we wanted to explain to you is that uh, how will you design, how will you select the uh, a particular uh, sprayer, a particular nozzle or, a, uh, or uh, when you have to um, select a fleet of uh, sprayers for a large uh, area, supposing you have 10,000 acre area and you need to um, uh, do spraying whether it is orchard or it is a um, uh, cereal crop or any other crop or um, tall trees, how will you decide these? So, through the um, problems which we have talked through the uh, through the theory which we have discussed, I think we, um, we have made you well equipped with these answers and I am sure you should be in a position to uh, um, follow the process which we have um, uh, taught to you and uh, see the problems which we have given you. They are very illustrative problems. These are very much uh, problems which will uh, make you to understand even there if there are any problems in understanding the theory. You can get back the theory back and then um, try to understand that yes this is the value and this is how a particular aspect is explained. We had talked of the class size of the particles, we, has, we had talked of the flow rate, we had talked of the capacity, various um, types of the uh, mean diameters, what are the mean diameters, where they are applicable and things like that. So, with these and then we had also talked of the different classes and from those classes what else can be can we get all those details. So, if I say that in the classes that we have covered for spraying we have talked of the different types of sprayers and dusters then we have talked of their performance evaluation then we have talked of uh, how to um, test and certify and then we have talked of the various uh, problems uh, so that you can understand the whole gamut of uh, this uh, uh, spraying uh, equipment uh, system. Uh, I hope that uh, we have tried to deliver uh, do justice to, uh, to see that you follow 
if you have any questions we will take up at as and when the time requires and so we close here at this point of time thank you very much